Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the ratchet pawls in the recoil starter assembly, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Release the starter rope and handle from the rope guide. Now remove the nuts securing the recoil starter to the engine. Pull the starter off and set it on a sturdy surface. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the screw securing the drive plate and lift the plate off. Be sure to hold the pulley in place to avoid dislodging the recoil spring and remove the old ratchet pawls if still intact. Use pliers to pull out the old springs. You're now ready to install the new ratchet pawl kit. Using pliers, insert the short end of the new springs into the small grooves in the pulley. Now install the new ratchet pawls by positioning each pawl behind a spring as you insert the pawl into the slot. Reposition the drive plate and secure it with the screw. Reinstall the recoil starter by aligning it on the mounting posts, then thread the nuts to secure. Hook the rope and handle onto the rope guide. You're now ready to reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the engine runs properly.